there are uh, enormous pillars that goes from the base uh, of the Khafre pyramid and uh, goes underneath for uh, approximately 1.2 kilometers. And at the end of these pillars, there are huge chambers, huge structures. They have the shape of a, of a, um, a cube of approximately 80 meters of uh, dimension. Inside the Khafre uh, pyramid, we found five structures that can be uh, like in the Cheops pyramid. Did you find anything under the Sphinx? We have one pillar and we have a, 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 a one pillar that goes underneath a lot. We have a chamber that is located uh, at the end of uh, the scan. Between the, the surface and the bottom we have another intermediate chamber. An American uh, physicist, uh, Louis Salvers, applied the uh, muon technology to the Khafre pyramid, but with uh, any results also because the, in the, at that time the technology was uh, at the beginning. CERN, for example, of the University of Tokyo uh, between 2011 and 2013 made uh, other experiments inside the pyramid particularly in the pyramid of Khafre and uh, they discovered uh, a possible void uh, at six, 73 meters over the Berzoni chamber. We measured the length, the height and the width of the big void and it's written all on the paper. But they, they also used their muon technology, but they couldn't find those. No, they... Like the ad other chambers you, yes. you, you found. So I assume if they place the, the detectors there, they mm. could find those rooms which you, you found. Ancient Technology Podcast on YouTube, Spotify or Apple Podcasts.